Today, I'm going to be making the Mr. Kipling Spooktactic, Spooktastic, <laughs> I have trouble with that word, chocolate cupcake mix, and then we have the vanilla flavored icing. These were sent to us from Dr. J in the UK, so thank you very, very much to Dr. J. We're going to set the icing aside because just like an American cake mix, you don't use that till the very, very end after everything's cooled off. You just add oil, milk, eggs, and icing, it says. So, you need uh, three eggs. You need 160 milliliters of milk and 100 milliliters of vegetable oil. You want to preheat your oven to 356 degrees. That is in uh, Fahrenheit. And you want to um, take uh, 24 cupcake tins and put the little uh, cups in them. And you'll see that in just a minute where, we, where I've already done that. So the first thing they have you doing in their directions is to combine these three things in one container. So your oil, your eggs, and this is something that um, American directions, uh, this is a step that American directions do not have that we have seen quite often um, in directions in the UK. So it's just something, something just a little different that they have you do. Um, our directions normally just have you opening the, the mix and pouring it all in at one time. And uh, I, I guess they just want to make sure that this is uh, combined and that your egg's broken up before you add it to your uh, mix. Because I know, like me, I don't, um, I don't necessarily make sure my eggs are broken up before I add them. Some people do. I never have. So you see I've combined those three things. And now, I'm going to open up the box. And the only thing in there, look, you get some funny things on the inside. You can decorate your cake. You can um, color those and put them on top of your cupcakes. That's how they get those faces. So, take your mix. Pour it in your mixer. They also have you using a uh, whisk attachment, which is different from um, the way we do ours. Because normally we just use a regular paddle, but you're going to whisk this until it's combined, and then we'll be back. So I'm gonna pour my cupcake batter into this uh, little container, George Ann sent us this. So uh, this is gonna come in handy with our cupcakes because um, we're gonna be able to pour it into our papers and it not spill everywhere. Now you have your 24 cupcake tins and you just want to try to pour this out evenly. One empty, uh, I made my first ones too big. I, I, that was just my mistake because it, it poured out really quickly. So I'm just, that, that'll be one that doesn't get used. Uh, I'll have uh, 23 instead of 24 cupcakes. But you uh, put these in the oven, you bake them for 15 minutes or until a, a skewer into the center comes out clean. So here are my cupcakes. I have allowed them to cool completely. Uh, you can see where I put too much um, batter in these. And so I could have definitely had another one uh, because this one, uh, it, it's uh, pretty big, but that's okay. So this is your um, frosting. And what you do is you just open it up and you stir it and it's green, like a Slimer green. And then on the inside of this box I showed you, you had um, little monster eyes like this. And there's enough to do all of your cupcakes. So just as an example, we have, uh, Kevin took some uh, and cut them out. And he, um, he colored them with marker. And then on the back, you just take a little piece of tape and your toothpick and then you attach it that way. So if you want to do this really fancy, they say to use a piping bag and you can pipe 
pipe the color on, but most of the time I think monsters are supposed to be ugly, so I don't think these are supposed to be the prettiest cupcakes anyway. But you're just going to put your uh, frosting however much you want on there, and then pick out whichever picture you want and put it right there. few over to the table with us, but I think these are really, really cute cupcakes. Mm -hmm. The little um, decorations are neat. It will take you time though, so yes, just keep that in mind. It will take you, you time to do you think it would be cut easier? them all out and then color them? See, and... I think now looking back at it, Kevin did it different than me. Kevin and I are just opposite. You no, know, I would have done it though. different too. You would have? I would have okay. colored them first okay. and then cut them out. That's what I was going to suggest. Yeah. If you do these, then color yeah. every single one of these and then cut them out. And then cut them out because that way you can get because, right next to the line where you're cutting. Yes, because you're Whereas trying me, to hold a little bitty piece of yeah, paper. And for and me, color. I left white around some of it where I would have probably done a color around it. But, right. You know. Yeah, so it's a, it's a lot easier. And it might even tell you in the instructions to do that. Well, no, it says cut out and color in. Don't do that. Color, yeah, I would color, color in and then cut. Okay. So this did come out of the wrapper mm -hmm. really easy. The vanilla frosting's good. It's, it just got a little bit on that toothpick. It's, it's got a nice flavor to it. Hmm. That's a good gut guy. Mm hmm I really like the frosting. I do too because it's extra sweet. It is, but it's not like... It's sweet, but it's not over sweet i don't mm. think that's it's i don't know and the texture is really good too yes the texture is different um it the the this frosting instead of being very 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 creamy you know like pillsbury frosting or duncan Brown's heinz frosting is extremely um like smooth smooth this is like gritty mm -hmm. it's like it's, sugary gritty yes yes there's like gritty pieces in it but it goes really well with that uh, chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm. That's my favorite part though, is the icing. These are three bite cupcakes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do really like though. I That's think it's good. delicious. Um, the texture of the chocolate cupcake is really, really nice too. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a little close, but, uh, but it has a really good texture. It's not dense, it's not dry, it's not drying, dried mm -hmm. out. You don't feel like you need a drink. Mm -mm. It's yeah. really good. But it's my favorite a, part is the frosting. Yeah, it's a very, very nice chocolate cupcake. But yes, the frosting is the best thing about it. Um, now, Americans are probably wondering, or British people too, is it any different than a, an American mix? No, not really. As far as the flavor goes, yeah. it's just chocolate and vanilla. But it, it has to do with like the, the, the texture of the frosting is definitely different. Yeah, and the cupcake itself... Really, the cake in general mm -hmm. never has a lot of flavor. I mean, it's got flavor, but it's not like, wow, that's a lot of chocolate flavor. It's never like that. It has a good flavor, mm -hmm. but it's not an overpowering. Most of your flavor comes from your frosting and stuff. This is the same as an American mix in that respect. I am impressed with the frosting, though, because it is so very sweet. Yeah, it's good. And I didn't expect it to be that sweet. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. J, thank you very much. Dr. J had asked me... Um, did I have any requests? And this was one of my requests. I really wanted, I love Mr. Kipling products. I wanted to try to make this. Normally I'm not much about doing box mixes, but this was really fun and I love the Mr. Kipling brand. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.